Wasp World War II Museum in Stillwater, Texas. And we've got a lot to learn. Looks like you start over at hangar number one. Jim, I don't know if you heard her, but she said you can experience the wasp story, follow the numbers. Now, this is really interesting. Something about Disney designing insignia for the military. The Fifinella, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Huh. Wow. I want one of those patches. I'm sure you have to earn it. Maybe I can get a picture of it. Sure. That's pretty cool. We have a somber melody as they face the long march of center stage back into civilian life. Acceptance arrival in Cochrane's convent. Bucky Richards. This trunk belonged to Wasp Bucky Richards. Wow. Air traffic control. Look at this high tech equipment. Wow. Okay, they said here, how many cushions are you? Okay, Jan, how many cushions are you going to be? I don't know. Um, There's two. Yeah. Doesn't say you, you can't. Crew weight, 400 pounds. Okay, Jan's got two pillows in there. Can you reach the pedals and all the all the stuff? Look like Jan's a four cushion pilot. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can you reach the control pedals? Yep, she can. Okay. Okay, what's a Jan look like in there as a pilot? Oh yeah, there she is. She's a four cushion pilot. Uh huh. Wow, this is pretty cool. Put your parachute on. There's my instrument panel. <clears throat> I tried to move this thing, but I think I might break it. I don't know. Can you reach it? I can't quite see out, though. I think I would need one more cushion. Oh, I needed to start down here, I think.
cold weather flight suit. Look at those mittens. Ah, first female reservist to fly a Thunderbird in 2011, Major Caroline Jensen. So that's an actual simulator for that plane. And finally, 20 hours in the UC-78 Bobcat. Mastering this aircraft marks the final stage of both your training and our combat pilot's training. If you're comfortable in a Bobcat, you're ready for action. Is everyone following along? Uh, do we have any questions? No, ma'am. Okay, when you come on retraining and helping in training missions for aerial gunners, you'll participate in radio-controlled flying demonstrations help instruct proper instrument use, practice concealment tactics like smoke laying, provide utility flying services, and assist the flight instructors however they deem fit. Man, he was going to come back home in one piece. When I learned there was something I could do to help shift those odds in our favor, I couldn't imagine doing anything less. Even if that means being stuck on this base with all you rookies for who knows how long. to do some more research on these ladies. Now we're going into the hangar too. It is cool. You can be whatever you set your heart and head to be. And don't let anybody tell you you can't be because Wasp did it in World War II. Awesome. <laughs> it's very 
they got. Well, that's a beautiful one. Love these old pictures. Aren't they great? Well, they are. Well, these pictures aren't that old. <laughs> no, this is when they... It does. Maybe they've used it for a movie set before. Wow. The sign says this is a 38 Buick special. Pretty sweet looking car, isn't it? They've been doing hand prints of the wasp, and I think that's pretty awesome that there are that many still alive. It's a replica of the bay where they would live, sleep. Oh, look how they did these windows. They made it look like you could see out in the field. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see the windows. Yeah, like you're looking outside. I'm so happy that we got to go through the museum, the World War II Wasp Museum, and we even get to stay all night in their parking lot. It's a harvest host. We got fans I can turn on too. And there's one other RV right over there, so we're not alone. I think we'll have a lot of stars out tonight, just like that song.